recently I saw flashes on Venus last year, and they started uh, one evening flashing. It lasted about 10, 15 minutes, and then the next day again, and then a third evening, a bit less. And this is um, on Venus. They say there's a soupy, fast-moving atmosphere on Venus. Of course, Venus doesn't um, rotate the same way. Instead, Venus would be locked in place, always facing the sun the way uh, the same side of the moon always faces Earth. And some people are skeptical about it. Now, why would that be? Because apparently the atmosphere around Venus is or could be what is what's circulating around. I'll get into that a bit further. The gravity of a large object in space can keep a smaller object from spinning, a phenomenon called tidal locking, as we know, you and I, all of us, um, about the moon and Earth. That would be the situation. Scientists think of Venus's atmosphere and layer as a thin, almost separate layer on top of a planet um, that has minimal interaction with the solid planet so get this if these um, planets are not rotating in theory the atmosphere around them can be rotating and that's what people can perceive as the planet surface itself much about what i talk about on the moon as we watch these double lunar waves that i recently captured venus takes 243 earth days to rotate one time but its atmosphere circulates the planet every four days. Extremely fast winds cause the atmosphere to drag along the surface of the planet Venus. It circulates, um, slowing the rotation with also loosening the grip of the sun's gravity. One reason for the heat on Venus is that nearly all of the sun's energy absorbed by the planet is soaked up by Venus's atmosphere, never reaching the surface. That's what they say. This means that a rover, for example, with solar panels like NASA sent to Mars would never be able to function. They say the atmosphere of Venus also blocks the sun's energy from leaving the planet, preventing cooling or liquid water on Venus's surface, a state known as runaway greenhouse effect so imagine the planets in theory just for the fun of it imagine they're not turning and the atmosphere around these planets are turning and we're, we're seeing and filming it from far away you know like the storms on jupiter for example it could be lines and storms that are turning but in reality the planets aren't turning wouldn't that be creepy this one not too long ago um really intrigues me a lot of people are telling me bruce some of the lights could be portals i love these theories for sure because when you see this light touch the other light the whole sky lights up and of course don't forget i'm looking through an infrared camera not everyone has uh, on hand an infrared camera and obviously and i know it myself by experience and you many of you do too by um taking an image of this with a regular camera nothing's going to appear unless you know automatic uh, focus whatever you could be lucky you can be a pro with your camera it's hard but it's not the same what you pick up with the infrared camera like this here um, i looked at this light uh, going downwards and it did not um it looked like that but anyways it, it's quite different looking through the infrared camera so one of the most, um, I cause, call it my most prized possession, are these objects um, with smoke combusting behind them. And don't forget, it's very controversial. And even me, myself, for many years, didn't know myself that smoke on the moon um, did not combust, for example. Obviously, it's been a while I know because I started looking it up. But who would, unless they had to, look this information up? Beautiful object. Um, on the moon or in the atmosphere of the moon, most likely, and you see a lot of smoke around it. And guess what? That smoke is lifting. Smoke does not lift or rise on the surface. It remains in a pill shape or form. So does fire. So that's what science tells us. We see different UFOs here at different levels. One of my favorite captures, and again, I wanted to stick this in, my friends. Look at that. Look at that. Um, before... 
showing today's sun, which by the way, we're very worried about. A couple of events on the sun also, my friends, we'll get it right into that right after this. Maybe five, 10 seconds, I'm going to show you that UFO coming out of the moon. So think of it, if you just got to the channel, that's an object on the moon. I'm zoomed up. Since it's just a blur, the surface of the moon, I bring the exposure down and or I show a negative image. And this is a green filter. I've done this research the same way for sixth year now. This is a UFO leaving the surface or possibly even leaving the interior of the surface. It's leaving, coming out of a black slit. I've showed many a times UFOs on the surface. If you've been here for a while, you know it, but if you're just arriving, please do look at my videos, infrared captures, sun videos, um, asteroids, meteors, a whole bunch of things that I've captured with the infrared camera, a lot of UFO activity here. This is the sun, April 20th, today in the morning. And towards the end of the video, we're going to see, um, I filmed it a lot closer. I'm gonna try to get as close as we can. It's very, very blurry. And it wasn't because of the clouds. It's because obviously there are plasma clouds lifting up from these objects. So now let's go over to the news and to see what happened with these objects. If there were any CMEs or solar flares that occurred in the past day or two. So I also do sun videos. I film the sun as often as I can every day, actually, if I can, when it's active. So a lot of people go to certain channels, depending on certain things that they're looking for and that they trust the information of. If you wanna know about the sun and when it's really active, I'm on it, I'm filming it. Um, I also intend on um, getting better equipment to film the sun even better. Um, also UFOs, if you're just arriving to the channel, is something that I also have here on the channel. Infrared captures a lot of variation. Get this, M7.3, over to the news about the solar flare today which was by the way the largest of this cycle 25 so m7.3 today and an x 2.2 solar flare with sunspot regions 2993 and 2994 we have two incredible sunspot regions on the earth facing solar disk these regions are fairly stable right now and did lose some intensity and some magnetic complexity since they first appeared on the east limb. So we're talking C-class, M-class, and even X-class flares from these incredible sunspots, and now even the 2993. So uh, it remains possible for these sunspot regions, um, especially 2992, that has been stealing the show today, to be very dangerous still. First, it produced an M7.3, which is an R2 moderate storm. Solar flare that peaked at 138, uh, sorry, 136 UTC time, which was quickly followed by the strongest solar flare of the current solar cycle 25 thus far, which was an X2.2. Hey, we saw an X1.4, a couple of days ago, it's ramping itself up, getting dangerous, which was that X2.2, an R3 strong storm at 357 UTC time. So in this video, I showed a double lunar wave. I showed Venus flashing. I showed UFOs on the surface of the moon, leaving the surface of the moon. I showed today's sunspots. You know, a couple thousand views would be cool. <laughs> often it's not what I get but you know what's really cool is that you yeah you and you you keep coming back and I really appreciate it yeah you too <laughs> I can't thank you all enough we know that my channel is being blocked it's incredible the last video right now before this one okay um, in the past three days got like uh, 40 comments and no views whatsoever For and I'm surprised because it was just a, a sun video but then again, I'm showing smoke on the moon. They don't want that scene. Why do you think they're going there themselves, right? This is at 1,700 millimeters, by the way. See how blurry it is? That's because whatever's lifting up off the sun is causing us to see a blur. The same bloody effect happens to me on the moon, which I always mention. People go, no. Yes, some areas, you go back to the same areas on the moon, they're clear one day 
were not clear the other day. People say, yes, but Bruce, there's atmosphere between the moon and Earth. You're absolutely right. There's lots for us for, to fight about. That's the worst of it because there's lots of possibilities, right? It's respecting and appreciating the opinions of others. I'm honored to be able to share my work and research here. Guys, the channel is dying, so it's not a problem. I'm going to mention it. Oh, Bruce is giving up. No, don't worry, my loving friends. I'm never leaving here. I'm always going to be here. This is my full-time job, by the way, for those just arriving. I do this full-time, and I depend solely on the views and support here. Thanks. I love you guys. Cause disclosure's coming soon. Disclosure's coming.